It should be noted that these NGOs got into Nigeria and gained accreditation to the Northeast under the guise of doing humanitarian work to alleviate the suffering brought upon the people in this area by terrorist activities. In that guise, they are found to be doing otherwise. The development exposed by the military has however revealed that these organizations and their staffers have done the exact opposite by engaging in activities, again, I want to enumerate them, that encourage the terrorists to continue carrying out attacks against Nigerians, as well as help advance the ability of the terrorist group to recruit new fighters. Two, to support Boko Haram to recover whenever the Nigerian military successfully degrade them. Number three, to provide them information that allows them to be able to attempt attack against our Nigerian military. To whip up international anger against Nigeria and the military of our great country, Nigeria. Number five, to present captured or killed Boko Haram terrorists as victims such that the Nigerian military is wrongly perceived as engaging in abuse. Number six, expose the civilian population of the Northeast to Boko Haram attacks. And number seven, the questionable NGOs have compromised the integrity of NGO work in Nigeria by contaminating indigenous NGOs and civil society organizations to work against the interests of the state of Nigeria. The investigation would also help trigger a financing, a legislation of NGO financing in Nigeria, which has been used as a front for funneling funds that are now threatening the existing and the great existence of Nigeria. In the meantime, we demand that staffers, management, and owners of NGOs that are found culpable of the serious allegations, like providing funding to terrorists, as been alleged in public domain, should be handed over to law enforcement agencies for trial. It is our passionate appeal that even if the National Assembly members are unconcerned <laughs> about the suffering of Nigerians under the tyranny of these international NGOs, they should at least look out for their own personal interests that will be imperiled if these subversive elements are able to disrupt critical national institutions like theirs as they are attempting to. Our lawmakers must take a definite stance against this threat, not just to Nigerians, not just to them, but our great country, Nigeria, because we do not have any other country apart from Nigeria. Thank you very much. It's just order we'll take some questions.